Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be a bit different today. I am uh, actually going to be talking about my knee again. Now this video is geared more towards someone who has had a recent knee surgery, a potential knee replacement or something similar to what I've had, which is not a knee replacement, but it is a very, very similar surgery as far as opening the leg up and going in. And my actual recovery plan, my rehab knee replacement exercise program is what I have to do for this uh, issue here. So it's the same kind of workouts that a person who had, who's had a knee replacement surgery would have to go through. And I'm having the same basic like physical challenges. Now I am just over three weeks out from my surgery. So it has been, uh, you know, progressively getting better. But when, ever since it started, anytime I had like a, you know, a, a pain or a swelling or uh, an issue, I'd go to YouTube and look to see how other people have been doing. So videos like hopefully what I'm making here were helpful to me. Just hearing people talk about their experience. I've gone and look at, looked at physical therapists and doctors and listened to a lot of people's, you know, opinions on how things should be going by certain points. And I see people that are two months in and they're doing triathlons already. And then I see people that are a year out and then they're, you know, barely getting the basic movements back. So I figure this could be a good barometer to help you see, you know, where people are, you know, in, as far as these knee surgeries go. Now, the main difference between what I had done and a knee replacement surgery is that I didn't have the metal put in. And with knee replacement surgeries, they do have to manipulate some of the uh, ligaments a little bit, which I didn't have done. However, the actual opening and all of this stuff is the same. Basically, I opened my leg, totally exposed the bone, and then they cleaned it out because I had an infection in the joint, a septic joint. I had it twice. Uh, the first time they did an arthrographic surgery, uh, it had like four and a half weeks of recovery, and then all of a sudden it got reinfected. And then I had to go in and have this surgery. So. I actually went into this surgery with a leg that was weaker than it probably should have been. So when I got out, you know, the recovery, some of the stuff has been maybe more challenging than it would have been if I went into this surgery immediately. Um, so let's see, where should I start with this? I guess, uh, you know, back to, you know, doing, doing the exercises. I think that's uh, an important thing. One of the most important things that I was told by multiple doctors and all the physical therapists is that after a surgery like this, and you've probably been told the same thing if you've gone through this, is that you want to make sure that you can straighten your leg as much as possible. So I've got my little setup here on the couch since I got home. I've got a rolled up towel. I put it under my heel and just let my leg hang under its own weight so that you know all of this is off of the couch and that the, the knee can push down under its own weight it helps to straighten it. And if it's not too uncomfortable, I have a, one of these little leg weights that I will actually put on top of my knee to help you know push it down in position. And I do that as long as I can bear it. It does get uncomfortable after a little while. Another thing I've got is this yoga strap thing. It's basically like a belt. You can probably just use a belt or a dog leash or something. And I'll do these stretches with this and just pull my leg straight. And I just do these multiple times a day just to try to you know, get my leg as straight as possible. Now, when I first got home from the hospital, and I was in the hospital for uh, probably longer than someone who got a knee replacement, because with a, a knee replacement, it's you, you, you do it, and I think people might be in for a day or two. I was in for five days because I had an infection, so they were doing uh, all this blood work and monitoring my condition, and I was on IVs for uh, <laughs> like, a bunch of different antibiotics for days and days just to make sure that the infection didn't come back because it came back one time already they were trying to really make sure that it didn't come back again i was in the hospital for five days the first time too so 10 days in the hospital over the last two months um but you know i got out of the hospital got home um the june 30th at night so june or sorry july 1st was my first real day at home and i was you know here just trying to be comfortable uh, july 2nd i felt pretty good. I mean, I still walk around with crutches and things, but like it felt pretty good. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you followed me, you know that I'm a, I'm a runner and a cyclist. I, I run or ride bikes minimum five times a week. So I'm very, very active. Uh, and I'm not like yeah, a little bit like in the last six months before I had the thing, I ran three different marathons. One of them had 7,800 feet elevation gain. So I'm not like 
you know, not like a jogger. I'm just, I, I actually go run a lot. So mentally, I'm feeling like a, like a pretty strong. Physically though, my leg is super weak. So on the 2nd, July 2nd, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do all these exercises. I really was doing like my physical therapy exercises and pushing them way harder than I should have. It felt good at the time. I felt like, oh, like, oh man, I'm gonna get it done. But what happened is that I had like four days after that, that my muscles were so sore that I could barely do anything. So one of my biggest tips is don't overdo it on your physical therapy. I mean, push it until it's uncomfortable. And maybe, you know, if you have to, if you're working on bending your leg or straightening your leg, it's okay to get it uncomfortable. But if it really starts to hurt, don't go that far. <coughs> it seems like that's when I was getting the most residual pain afterwards. Um, and, you know, it contributed to more swelling and all kinds of stuff. So, that's another thing too is the 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 more the swelling has gone down the easier it is to move around and i've been measuring my leg every day since i got home so i measure around the knee and then i've been measuring just above the knee and the reason i go just above the knee is because after i had my incident um in the first surgery i had this big fluid bubble that would build up and when, after my first surgery i had like a, a drain tube and like a, a thing that would collect the fluid while i was in the hospital but when i left the hospital they took it out I took it out, the fluid started to reaccumulate above my knee. And the more it accumulated, the harder it was to move. So I've been paranoid about that. So I've been measuring the knee and just above the knee. Now, since I got out of the hospital uh, three weeks ago, about, yeah, just, just under three weeks ago, um, the swelling has gone down by two inches in uh, circumference in this area. So my knee was like, over 15 inches when I got home, and now it's like 13.75 inches. So it's, um, it's, yeah, it's about two inches diameter, uh, circumference all the way around that it's, it's gone down. It's been consistently going down every day, except for today, where it was just a little tiny bit above, because yesterday I actually walked five miles without my crutch. I have a crutch here, but I haven't actually touched this in about three or four days. Uh, I did a five-mile walk yesterday. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Maybe overdid it a little bit, but didn't feel bad. My leg has felt okay today. Uh, a little tiny bit achy, but not real bad. So yeah, so uh, what is this? Three weeks out from surgery, roughly, and did a five mile walk. So it's not too bad. My flexibility now, going here, I'm just, just now in the last two days or so, able to get it past 90 degrees. So it's not real flexible yet. And I, can I can't straighten it under my own strength to fully straight. However, if I lift it, it straightens out a little bit. Um, but yeah, those are kind of like the the main things I've been working at. It's just trying to keep my leg straight, trying to bend it. Um, with the with the bending exercises, I get in a chair and I will like slide the chair forward and just push my knee until it's again uncomfortable but not painful. Just let it sit there for very much as long as I can bear it. And give it a break, and it's been. It's been slowly working. Um, and if you have, like, you see this, you know, the incision, I've got these steri strips which are starting to fall off now. The doctor said, don't peel them off. They'll fall off on their own and they're starting to come off. So I can kind of see my scar there, which is kind of crazy. I've seen all these methods for like breaking up the scar tissue to soften it up, which is supposed to help it get easier to move. So, you know, just look around. I feel like YouTube has been really handy for me. Hopefully this video is, I don't know, at least give you a, a point of reference to where someone else is at in the same amount of time. Uh, these kind of videos from other people have helped me a lot, so that's why I'm making this one. So maybe it's useful to you, maybe it's not. I don't wanna make it too long, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once I'm further into recovery, I'll probably make another video once I start doing more exercise again. I'm hoping in a week and a half or two weeks, I'll have enough flexibility to start riding a bike again, at least kind of like doing a little bit of hiking even if I'm real slow, which my walk yesterday was very, very slow, uh, just to keep going. I feel like the more I move and the more kind of like physical things I do, the quicker the recovery starts to go. So in, I don't know, a, a month or a little bit longer, whenever I feel like I'm back to close to normal, I'm maybe running again, um, I'll make another video and talk about anything I've discovered along the way. But uh, yeah, just figured I'd share my experience in case it's useful to you guys. I'm going to get out of here and I'm not going to make you wait any longer. So thanks for stopping by. I will see you kids soon. Later.